Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more MC Eternal and today we're going to try to make a really massive canola oil farm. We have 10 10 10 seeds. I did that off camera. I made a 15 by 15 plot of land. I'll show it and we're going to make all the machines and route the fluids so that we can make a lot of RF hopefully. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. It's a rainy and dark day, starting off. So let's sleep, and then we can start on a brand new day. What's great is uh, right outside, I still have all of the 10, 10, 10 diamond crops. So this is making nuggets like crazy. I love it. I'm really glad we were able to finish this last time. Uh, on the other side, I'm slowly working on making the gold seeds, uh, but I'm not gonna rush it with the watering can because right now it's not really that important. So I'm gonna let these guys cross and then pick the, the better one and then uh, switch them out. But since these are one one ones, sometimes they don't give nuggets. When we have 10, 10, 10s, they always give nuggets. And as you saw with the diamond, they give multiple nuggets. So let me grab all of these real quick. I can also grab these. Not sure how, uh, how badly we're gonna need gold this episode, but I think I have a good stockpile of it all. Uh, of it already in the AE2 system. And then I still have six here, so I think we'll be fine. Also, I'm noticing Twitch chat teases in saying hi. Thank you for joining. Uh, today we're making a canola farm. I'm pretty excited. So let's see. I'm going to make some of the items first before showing it uh, to get into what I want to make. I realized when I was testing, the cyclic harvester does not harvest the agri-craft crops. So the other way that I know of is by using a plant gatherer. So I'm switching from a cyclic harvester to a plant gatherer from industrial foregoing, which is kind of a bummer because we have to open up industrial foregoing for this by doing the tree fluid extractor and the latex processing unit because the plant gatherer does require two pieces of plastic. Bummer, but let's get into it. We can open up that chapter next. For tree fluid extractors, we need iron gears. Let's see, do I have three, three of them? I need, what was it? Just smooth stone, which luckily for me, I have smooth stone in my dank null now because of uh the silk touch hammer going for that uh gold that we were missing when i did uh yesterday's episode i had to cut that out of the footage so four fluid tree fluid extractors is nice uh one for each cardinal direction then we also need the latex processing unit let's make a machine frame Let's make two latex processing unit. We need another furnace. Easy peasy. And latex processing unit. Boom. The plant gatherer, like I said, we need two pieces of plastic. The range add-on looks like it's going to be pretty simple. Luckily in this pack, because it's kitchen sink, we don't need to keep upgrading them. We can just go straight to whichever one we want. The one I want is going to be the range at plus 7 for 15 by 15 because I set up the entire area for the cyclic harvester already and it, then I realized it didn't work. So we need four pieces of plastic total. So let's go and see. I have 59 quests I can redeem. Let me see. Collect rewards, 46. There we go. It's a lot easier. So a whole bunch of coins. We got a dog bed, dog sunglasses, cheap knockoff sunglasses, the vampirism guide, storage crate keeper, 10 levels of XP, training treat, doggy charm, a diamond fishing rod, a creative modifier, 
Okay, that's probably from one of the end game ones. And a stick. Awesome. I thought it only does the coin ones though. Yeah, so it, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, so some of them. That's weird. Let me see, I know one of these, yeah, okay. Okay, so the ground traps, the water traps, and all the baits that I did off camera gave me a diamond fishing rod, which is funny because it that auto-completes this quest here. <laughs> I don't want to do all the loot quests. Let's get into industrial foregoing. Should be introduction to science. We need to make the book, which the book is paper and wood. Oh cool, Tease is letting us know that you can spawn a tamed dog with the doggy charm. I will probably look into it so that I can have a proper episode. So I won't do that right now. Creative modifier I could put on the on my sword right now. But let's stick to what I was planning on doing today, which is a canola farm. We need paper and we need wood. Do we have sugarcane? We do. Awesome. Let's not go crazy. One piece of paper and wood. And there we go, the book. So now we have opened up industrial foregoing. Introduction to science. We got coins. We have the latex processing unit. I'm going to keep the loot boxes here for right now coins and then 32 plastic for the next quest okay and then all of these kind of seem optional since it's kitchen sink i'm not sure if we actually need any of these machines to tell you the truth all right let's click and add eh. and skill book also let's shift and put those points in the book while I remember. Sweet, so let's do this manually for right now. I can set it up automated on a later date. Do I have any fluid transfer cables? I do. So I have these guys. I need... I need the cyclic connector. Cyclic... Let's go fluid, this guy. I need four of these. We need weighted pressure plates. One, two, three, four. I need four of these guys. One, okay. I need three more just of the droppers. And that's four. We need the cables. And then I think that's good enough for right now. Like I said, I can I can make it automated at a later date. Oh, and yesterday when I was building this, I jumped off the edge and I landed on my landmine. Yep, that's what I do. So right over here, I have a 15 by 15 area. I have a simple vanishing door made out of steel. It looks weird, I'm gonna get rid of it. I just want mobs to stay out of this. Uh, I don't want mobs stepping on my crops ruining any of my crops. These are all 10 10 10s. I've checked them multiple times. I even put a roof and fence around it so that mobs will not bother any of these crops. Uh, in, I have four aqueous accumulators with sprinklers. There's a water source block under and a water source block on the side because it needs two source blocks for this sprinkler to work. So I have to sacrifice one spot for the sprinkler. There's four sprinklers covering the 15 by 15. There's also worms on every spot. Some of them are doubled up because the worm is supposed to go where the aqueous acc accumulator is. So there's double worms on the sides of these guys. All the spots have that. All of them are 10, 10, 10 crops. It's pretty impressive. It took me about 30 minutes to turn canola into 10 10 10s because I don't have to worry about the ground uh, what's underneath I don't have to worry about that at all which is kind of precarious because this entire surface 
hovers over a ravine. So I need to be careful that I don't vein mine anything or else I'll fall down the ravine. I'm thinking of keeping everything together. That is one entire chunk here, the 15 by 15. Let's put the, this guy here for right now. So I believe they are going to face the opposite direction from when you where you point. Yes. And that looks like they're all facing the center. Yep, there we go. Let's shred this piece of oak wood. Bam. And I need the four fluid extraction cables. One, two, three and four, and then I think I'm only going to need one cable, like this, not like that, like this. There we go, let me turn off chunk borders. There we go, and then I should be able to plug this right here. And how are you doing? You need water as well. Latex is going in, and it does need power, so we'll make a coal generator for this, just for this guy, to uh, to get it started. So this needs power and it needs water. All right, let's go. We need another extraction cable. I'm gonna make it quick and dirty. Sink. I'm gonna make a new sink. I'm gonna grab another. power cable. Let's go sink. Bucket of water I have on me. Fluid. Dropper. Pre uh, weighted pressure plate. That covers the water and we need a coal generator, uh, iron casing, and coal generator, and we have some coal. And let's sleep since it's nighttime and we are set to hard mode. As you can see under my base is the ravine so all of the mobs are, are under that part of the base. Just waiting for me to make a mistake. Let's go. Didn't quite make it. We got a zombie on fire. You're probably not going to make it. That's what I thought. Go away. Nope. Oh, these guys, like, when you kill them, they, I think they explode and they come towards you or something like that. Alright. Enough things. Let's go. We need... How am I gonna do this? There we go, that. This is gonna look really silly. I promise in between episodes I'll make it look prettier. This is just for simplicity and quick. Bam. Water, latex, coal generator. It looks awful. And coal. making my tiny dry rubber. What's great is the reason why I'm putting it here is because as soon as I get all the cables laid out and the canola starts making power, I can plug this in immediately and it'll be self-sufficient over here. We'll make a little section here for industrial foregoing. That's so nine pieces of tiny dry rubber makes uh, one dry rubber. We need four. All right, so let's grab some of our wood. 
That one piece I put in there has already been completely destroyed. So there we go. Now we just need... What is it? 9, 18, 27, 36. We need 36 pieces. I have a spell book. Neat. Zombie brain that I've already eaten. Yum. Let me try something out. Will this work? Oh, looks like it's working. Time in a bottle. Gotta love it. It is a Minecraft mod, so it is not cheating. <laughs> okay, what are we at? Was that, did it actually, yeah, we got our 38. That is as much as we need. Hmm, I can make it here, but I need to smelt it back at the camp. I should just bust out my book, even though I'm so close. Just to be quicker. Fast, fast. Let's go. Redstone furnace. Let's smelt these boys up. One, two, three, four, five. And you're done. Let's go. Plant gatherer. Oh, iron axe. Iron hoe. Oh, it's two axes. Okay. I got confused there for a second. What am I missing in the bottom corners? Gold gears. There we go. Gold. We need eight. We Gears are the middle one. And yeet. Go. That's our two gears. Bam, bam. Plant gatherer. Range add on. Let's get rid of this stuff. So we have those two things that we need. Bam and bam to start making the actually additions items we need to make an atomic reconstructor so another iron casing and an atomic reconstructor also let's use a button that's not how you spell it button out of smooth stone like that Let's go fermenting barrels. We're gonna need Enori, which is iron. Ranged add-on void, which is coal. Or a range collector, sorry. Canola press, which is Enori, iron again. Advanced coils or gold nuggets in this pack, not nickel. Iron casings, that'll be fine. So we need to make a bunch of iron, iron. Sixty. That's weird. Looked like the system crashed on me for a second. Sixty-four. A stack. How are you doing? Three point two million RF. You're full, so you shouldn't have stuttered. Hmm. All right. Where should I attach this just for right now? Just to make it quick. I can do... I wanna face it down. And I'm probably gonna move it like I do everything. I always move everything. So I need it to be here. 
No. I need it to be there. So we're going to go Atomic Reconstructor under it so that it faces down. That's what I always do. And we're going to put a button on it like that because it's gray and it looks like it belongs there. And I need MV. I need a connector and I need an, one wire. So let's go. Can I hop up there? Let's just do this. One connector and one cable. There you go, power. All right. Oh, and I need a redstone torch so that I can turn it. I can change it to what I want, which is pulse. Pulse, there we go. And iron, go. Inori, let's go. We have 64 Inori. I think that's going to be good for right now. We need fermenting barrels, four of them, minimum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to keep it up just in case. The I don't need the range collector anymore because the uh, plant gatherer does store it. So we need oil generators. So iron casings, I'm going to need eight. Hmm. Yeah, I did my math. I'm mathing correct. Two, three, four. And presses, I need one. Coils, I need one. Ooh, let me see. Did I put all of my nuggets in here? No, I put nuggets in the in into AE2. Gold. I guess not. Here we go. Three stacks. Sounds good. And canola press. Coils. We need redstone. It's about time I get a new keyboard. I swear I hit all the keys, but my keyboard doesn't agree. All right, redstone, button, Restonia. One, two, three, four. We need one coil. One of those. One of these canola presses for right now. I'm gonna do bare minimum for right now. And then I'm gonna slowly add on until I run out of canola. I also need two drawers. Basic drawers. Two of these guys. And then let's get Kraken with Xnet. One of my favorite mods. People are intimidated by this mod but it is very intuitive. Two of those. One of these. Controller, please. One controller. We're gonna need connectors. How many would we need? Okay, we need one. Two, three. Four. Four for moving everything. Five, six, seven goes into power. Eight. We need a total of eight. I always click a little bit too much. Let's take nine then. <laughs> Get rid of you. Network cables. Let's drop a stack. There we go. And then I'm also, should I get started immediately into flux networks? I don't want to run out of time. 25 minutes, let's go flux. Oh, I have a flux bore in here, probably a quest reward. Flux networks. Flux cores, eyes of ender. Ooh, expensive. I'm not sure how many ender pearls I have.
We need a flux controller. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty, one. Twenty-one eyes of ender. Ten. Ten. I need eleven. Should I really buy all these, though? Off the store? I have enough coins. Let's go. Let's do it. Time to splooge. Ender. I haven't run into any... Endermen. So I haven't been able to kill them with the... Uh, what's it called? With the... Solarium dagger for Enderman chunks. If I can get four Enderman chunks, then Ender pearls are going to be a joke. So we have 21 eyes of Ender. We need flux blocks. So we need flux and obsidian. I have obsidian coming from... Uh, mystical agriculture. So let's grab a stack of these. Which I think we're only really going to need, what, one? Let's do two. Redstone. Two stacks. This pack is a little weird. Do I still have my... Oh, yeah. Not enough experience. Bummer. I, uh, whoops, mined into an underground dragon. So, that was on bedrock. Let's go ahead and just run down to bedrock real quick. This is going to be super easy. The way you make flux in this pack is the updated version of the flux mod, which is crushing it uh, with bedrock. I am on Y10. Yeah, when I was looking for gold, I drove that straight line. I hit an underground dragon. Whoops. So I marked it <laughs> as whoops. Here we go. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Wonder if you can crush two. Did you go in my dank null? There we go. Oh, is it bare hand? Bam! Makes a sound. Oh, I guess you can. You don't need more than one. You can just smash it like that. And we'll use the home command since I don't know if four. Four is probably enough. But hey, we're already doing home. Sixty-four. This and that and nickel ore. Flux. Flux block. Flux cores. Oh, they do make four. See, that's why I'm bad at math. I was counting ones. Four. I need 21. 24. Three, four, five. We have a flux controller. We need a flux point. It's like everything just moved. Flux point. I need four. I need five more. Eight. We need one point, and we need one plug. What was in the middle? Flux blocks. Super expensive. There we go. And plug. All right. Plug point controller. And we can sleep and go work.
on a brand new day. Let's go. Nope. Oh, it's just a spider. Didn't recognize it. Let's go. Let's put up the flux over here. I can move it later if I want to. Put you here. We will go. Create a new network. D. Danicus. Come on. Let's go. D. Encrypted. RF. We're going to go with purple. Create. Password, no. Public, create. Let's click on you. Network settings. Statistics, connections. Wireless charging, enable wireless, apply to... Oh, really? You're going to make me click everything? Apply. Wireless charging. It's funny, we have wireless charging before we have things that need to be wirelessly charged. Surge mode, disable limit, chunk loading, that's all fine. So let's go, we can put down, I'm gonna have to dig. The plant gatherer, this bad boy is gonna go right here. And let's do, Let's go. How am I going to make this so that I could change it out later? Point. We're going to select our network. There we go. It's purple. That is going to supply the power as soon as we have a self-sufficient system. Probably going to move the coal generator over here to give this guy a boost, a jump. I'm going to need to... Ooh, there's the ravine. I guess I can make it work, right? Just scared of heights. Let's go. One plug. And I need to run the cable. This way. Let me grab my proper tool real quick. I need to keep the sword. There we go. All right, let's run it. Oh my God. That was one of those rocket creepers, wasn't it? I saw him for a split second. Ah. Minecraft's bad for my heart. Let's go. My tool just happened to break right when I use it. There. Oh my god, there's two. No, don't you come up into my zone. Ugh. What do you guys think? You think I should just rush him? I see you. You see me! Gotcha. Where's the other one? Gotcha. Oh my goodness. I can't see anything. Into the darkness. I'm gonna cheat. F7. <laughs> Alright. Hidden lights, let's go. Go away. Hidden lights for the win. They're all under my base. 
Just put it by your feet there, buddy. Hope you don't mind. Go! Gotcha! Ah, oh, good. Alright. I really should have done this before the episode. There we go. I think it's safe down here now. Oh, Zerdus. Don't need it though. That's the ravine. Is that an Enderman? Can I look at you? I'm getting distracted. Let's finish what we're working on. I need to run cable. From here. Like this. All right, going up. Like that. No, not like that. I need to go down one. Like that. There we go. All right, and down this way. I'm thinking I can hook up the existing system here onto XNet as well. It's not that high a priority, but Two birds, one stone. All right, so I can run the cable that direction. Let's go. Let's ditch some of this junk that I picked up. Awesome. And let's keep it tight. We're going to go fermenting barrels like this. We're going to go canola press like that. We're going to go oil generators like this in the corners. All right. I only need one connection. For the input. And that is the canola press. Canola needs to go into the press. And you are connected from underneath. Perfect. All right. And then let's go two drawers. Let's do this, not all the way on the corner, here and here. And let's go one and two. Yeah, depth perception. All right, so we have canola. And we have seeds. And we can also do controller like that. Then we need connectors on top. Or should I run them all underneath? Let me run them all underneath. There we 
go. I need a connector here, here, there, and there. And network cable to connect them all. So there, yeah, there we go. That's clean. And there. I'm tilting my head like I can get a better view. <laughs> Yeah, that's all connected. That looks good. I like it. Sunset. I'm not sure why I can't right click the sleeping bag in this pack. I have to manually click it. There we go. Manual sleeping bag for the win. And then I guess I can also... Connector. I need one more. One more connector for the plug. All right, can I not connect it on this side? I'm pretty sure there's a wrench for that, or I can just move it to somewhere else. So this is bare minimum. I'm making one, and then I'm going to just keep adding this 3x3 three three setup over and over and over again until I max out for the 10 10 10 seeds. It's going to be a lot of seeds. So what I need to do is I need to repurpose this coal generator real quick. And I need to jumpstart. Let me just make two. I need to jumpstart this guy. And I need to jumpstart the uh, plant gatherer coal generator. Steal all this coal here. Let's put this guy here for the temporary boost. All right. Before I put power on this unit, let me plug or turn, do all of the programming first. So, oh, when I removed the, got it. It still had RF inside, so it's charged it a little bit. So the first channel, of course, we're gonna make energy create. We are going to extract Oh, yeah. So I actually have to move this plug that's right here. I have to move this guy. And we have to put him over here as well. He has to be part of the network. Let's go connector. We needed one more. Man, I, I've got some bad math going on this today. And I'll put you, I don't want to put him too close. Connector, plug. All right, so we're going to in extract power from the network here. So we're going to, on the plug, on the point, on the point, we're going to do X create, extract, and then all the machines that need power. So the controller needs power, create, insert, controller is more important, we'll do priority 10. The plant gatherer is going to need power. The plug is going to get power so that the rest of the system can also get power. Canola. Those are the drawers, don't need power. The oil, oil generators are going to extract power from the oil generators. And then the canola press, I don't believe needs power. It does need power. So we need to insert power to this guy. So we're gonna insert on the plug. We're also going to extract on the point.
the point would be redundant so the point wouldn't be required but it's up and running so let's just keep going the next one is going to be items and we're going to extract from the plant gatherer and then we need canola and we need seeds and here are my 10 10 tens I need regular seeds I don't I think it's gonna be a separate item let's steal one seed there we go vanishing door let's go around here and so we're gonna extract canola and seeds and we're gonna insert in here canola and here seeds that's one and then we're going to make another item create we're going to from canola this one needs to go away i don't know why it selected that from the canola drawer we're going to extract canola and we're going to insert into the canola press insert canola this way it'll cover overflow the seeds are going to be voided the canola is going to be voided until we make enough canola presses to cover and as far as i know i need to void upgrades so the drawers and the plant gatherer don't clog but i think that's it now we just need to jumpstart the system. This guy already has power, that's great. Let's jumpstart the system with coal. This guy should start. Range add-on, there we go. Is it gathering faster than the pipes can move? A blessing or a curse all right it's putting the canola seeds in here but there's so many seeds it hasn't gotten to canola yet so let's put these five canola in here it's already moved that five canola to the canola press which does not have power. You are running out of power. Let's make another coal generator. These are just to keep everything uh, jump started. And then you, it has to be coal or charcoal. Okay, but it can't be coal coke. Let me go back. I know I have coal stuck over here, don't I? No, coal coke, coal coke. I can grab some coal coke to burn that. Let's go wood and planks. Oh wait, can I just burn it like this? One, two, three, four, five. Coal generator. can't hop over that let's go with coal generators I need to jumpstart this guy here and I can use coal coke 
there. Just to jump start, we'll break this back down and Yep. The canola press is working. It's pressing the canola that it's receiving into the oil. What's great is it will push to adjacent inventories. So that's what it's doing right now. It's fermenting into fermented oil. Let me see. Refined, sorry. It's turning into refined canola oil, which immediately is burning for 80 RF a tick. And I don't think I need this guy anymore, but I'm just going to leave these on here until everything is maxed on drawers and such. Yeah, it's not extracting fast enough. Wow. That's the issue. The seeds are so powerful that the machine is clogged gathering them. <laughs> wow. It is pushing some. I'll have to fine tune this thing. The, uh, hmm. I don't think the advanced connectors transfer items faster. I think it's only more RF. Max RF. 500,000 allows access to different side supports faster item transfer. I am wrong. Enderpearls. I should only need to make one of these though. Advanced connector. Yeah, one more connector. I could repurpose, but I'm lazy. Advanced blue connector and supports faster item transfer. I'm hoping this will solve the problem for right now. Here we go. And I need to redo that guy now that it's a new connector. You're going to get power. Insert. You're going to extract canola seeds and bummer. Canola? Do I did I pull them all? Oh whoa, no I didn't. Extract those guys. Extract canola. This is still correct. You can go in there. How are you now? Supports faster item transfer. <laughs> the seeds are too strong. I need much faster item transfer. I was hoping Xnet would be my one and all, but I might have to make way better item transfer from the plant gatherer to the drawers, and then from the drawers to the Wow, these guys are max, by the way. From the drawers to the uh, press. It is max. So that little trickle is maxing out one of these setups already. Each one of these oil generators, I believe it said generating 80 RF a tick. Yeah. 80 CF a tick. Pretty sure that's the same thing as 80 RF a tick. Which I'm going to stack these like crazy inside this one chunk that we're in right now. I can get rid of the temporary ones now because they're all running off of these generators. It's now a self sufficient setup. The flux network. 
I think this fills up when it's full. Oh, this one's not selected on a network. Disable limit. That had to be wrong. 10,000 RF a tick just on one of these 3x3s. Input is going nuts. Hey, apply. 2,000 RF a tick. That's the only downside to Flux Networks is it will only show you throughput. So if all of your machines are uh, idle and all of your batteries are full, it will show zero. That's the only bummer. The only way I've been able to test Flux Networks is by plugging it into an energy trash can. <laughs> if you plug in an energy trash can, then it'll always have throughput and it'll show you your max throughput. That's what I did in Continuum, and that's how I have the 400, I think 400 million RF a tick, and a 3.8 billion RF buffer going in my Continuum world. But yeah, in effort for this episode not to go too terribly long, this is a self-sufficient setup now, this little trickle of this one spot all of my most of my crops are still not harvested this one spot this little trickle that's going off right now that little trickle is running this entire press and all of these all four of these wow so like I said I will keep building this 3x3 three three square over and over and over again until the farm is producing exactly the amount of canola for the max settings. So it'll be the beginning of next episode because that's going to take me a lot longer than this hour of me showing how a canola farm works. But I'll go over the... Uh, some slight details at the beginning of next episode so i do have to get out of here as fast as possible that's why i was talking super fast i do have my daughter for an extra week for uh spring break so thank you coronavirus for giving me an extra week with my daughter uh but grandma's watching her and uh they wanted to give me a break so that i could stream with you guys and uh, this is the episode i wanted to do for today so thank you so much for joining and i will maybe i'll maybe be back tomorrow again same time four to five and i'll see y'all then thanks thank you so much for joining me today if you can hit the like button in the bottom right and go ahead and click on my guy here to subscribe to the channel that would help us out a lot also if you want to watch me stream on twitch i stream monday through friday uh, from 4 to 5 p.m central so i'll see you then